okay so let's divide 9641 divided by 8 so for that let's let's write in the rough the for 8 table so I have taught the shortcut let me remind you once again so horizontal line vertical line and horizontal line and you have to arrange the number here 2 4 6 8 the even number you will write here 0 and here also like this 2 4 sorry 2 4 6 and 8 and here 0 okay in the first row first is 0 then 1 2 3 4 again here same 4 you will start here 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this is a 8 table so here also you can write like this okay otherwise you can take and write it here 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 8 fours are 24 8 threes are 24 8 fours are 32 8 fives are 40 8 six are 48 8 seven are 56 8 eights are 64 8 nines are 72 so we left to 9 so we have completed so now let's get get uh, get into the division so first from the left side we will start first we will take the 9 so you have to look for 9 here 9 is not here so smaller than 9 you will see smaller than 9 only 8 is there so 8 you will write 8 is how many times one time so let's write on the top 1 so after that now we have to minus so when you write also you have to arrange the digits in order 8 you can write only here you cannot write it here okay so now minus 9 minus 8 1 so now 1 the remainder is smaller than the divisor so your division is correct now you have to take the next number down that is 6 you will take it down so when you insert the 6 at the back of this number you are getting 16 now we have to look at whether 16 is here yes 16 is here so you can write here 16 and 16 is how many times 2 times so that you will write on the top so now minus 6 minus 6 0 1 minus 1 0 so 0 only so now let's take here the remainder is 0 it is smaller than the divisor so your division is correct so now let's take next number down so we have got 4 so here is no remainder now we have only 4 so we will check whether 4 is here 4 is not here smaller than 4 also not here so we cannot divide 4 ok so you will take the next number down so that is 1 so when you take at a time 2 number down ok at a time you are taking 2 number down at one time 2 number you are taking down so when you take two number at one time down when you take you have to put zero here in the in the quotient okay otherwise you can take it like this first you took four four you are not able to divide so you put zero here first since you are not able to divide four you will put zero first after putting zero then only you will take the next number down that way also you can take it okay so now we have taken now we have got 41 so you have to look for 41 here 41 is not there so just near to 41 which is smaller number that is 40 smaller than 41 is 40 is there so we will write here 40 40 is how many times 5 times so we will write here 5 so now we have to minus 1 minus 0 1 4 minus 4 0 ok so here the answer is quotient is 1205 and the remainder is 1 ok now we have to verify the answer so let's verify verification verification formula is dividend equal to divisor multiply quotient plus reminder so here divisor is 8 is the divisor so 8 multiply by quotient quotient is 1205 plus remainder remainder is 1 okay first we have to multiply this 2 
into 8. So multiplication table you can write shortcut but I am doing it now faster. 5 eights are 40. 4 is a reminder. 0 eights are 0 into 8 0. 0 plus 4 4. 2 eights are 16. 6 and 1 carry over. 8 ones are 8. 8 plus 1 9. So 9640 plus 1. So plus 1 if you add here 1. 0 plus 1 1 4 6 9. So you have got 9641. So 9641 is what? That is the dividend. Okay, equal to dividend. Okay, since we have got the dividend, hence it is verified. Hence it is verified. Okay, this is the way how to complete the verification. Okay, this also asked in the exercise, so you can do it. Now dividing by dividing by 10 in your book only 10 is given but I will give 100 also and from there you can learn 1000 also it is very easy so I will teach only 10 is given but it is necessary that you have to learn this also it looks very basic so little more higher up we will learn so 100 and 1000 I have added ok suppose if there is a number 843 you have to divide by 10 Okay, so for this, it is a shortcut is there, so you will use only shortcut. Okay, so this will reduce your time. So don't write the 10 table and don't do like this, 843 divided by 10. Okay, so here directly you can find the quotient and the reminder. So how we can find the quotient reminder, I will tell you. Listen here, 10 is here, no? So in 10, how many zeros are there here? Only one zero is there. Okay, since only one zero is there in the right side. Okay, right side, this is a number, right side, this is the right side, no, this is the left side. Okay, right side, only one digit. So, that first digit, that is 3. Since 1, 0, so that one digit, last right side, one digit, that will be the reminder. So, here 3 is a reminder. 3 is a reminder. Now, if 3 is a reminder, remaining how many digits are there? These two digits, that is 84. So, 84 will be the quotient. Okay, you, without the dividing directly you can write the answer. Since only one zero is there, so the last one digit will be the reminder. Remaining whatever digits are there, that will be quotient. Okay, even if there is a zero, zero you have to write here. Okay, suppose if it is 8403, so now 3 will be the reminder. So now 840 will be the quotient. So don't think that zero, so I will leave it. You cannot leave zero, zero also you have to write together. So, 840 will be the quotient. Okay, so this will be easy for you. Now, dividing by 100. So, let me write a number. 7916. You have to divide by 100. Okay, now you see to write the quotient and reminder. See, in 100, there are two zeros. So, the last two digits, since there are two zeros, the last two digits. So, what are the last two digits? 1 and 6. This is the last two digits. So, 1 and 6, this is 16. So, this last two digit will be the reminder. Okay, last two digit will be the remainder, not the quotient. Remaining, whatever digits are there on the right side, they all will be the quotient. So, here the digits are 7 and 9, 79. So, these remaining digits are the quotient. So, 79 is the quotient and 16 is the reminder. Okay, now dividing by 1000. Let me write a number. 3500. I am taking 5 digit number dividing by 1000. Okay, let me give here. 0 okay, here also I am adding 0 I want to make you to confuse so that you won't make a mistake in anyway ok so here in 1000 there are 3 digits 3 zeros ok so now to write the question and reminder 1000 there are 3 zeros so the last 3 digits will be the reminder so 1 2 3 so these 3 digits are the reminder 
this three digit zero zero two. Okay, so this is the reminder. But you see, when you write, you must be, you must show, show that you are intelligent. Okay, if you write like this, they will think that you are a fool. Okay, why they will think you are a fool means if the zero is on the uh, left side of the number, that means in front of the number. In front of the number, the zero has no value. Okay, so you cannot write here. But suppose if the zero is at the back of the number, that has the value. Okay, so that you cannot avoid. Okay. So since in front of this number the zero is there, you can leave it and you can write just two is a reminder. Okay, now question is remaining the digits are question. So here the remaining digit is three and zero. Since this zero is at the back of the number, so it has the value. So you have to write. Okay, this zeros are in front of the number, so it has no value. So you can omit it. But this zero at the back of the number, so it has the value. So you will write it. Understand? So this is the way how to find dividing by ten, hundred, thousand. In the book, ten, hundred, and thousand is not there, but in uh, revision and in worksheet and in the exam, I will give dividing by hundred. Okay, surely I will give. But when I when it is given dividing by ten and hundred, if you do in the long division method like this, if you divide and write, I will cut the cut it and I won't give the marks. These are taught to you to make you to reduce the time. So reduce the time and do it properly. There are two exercises today. I have given homework because Saturday, Sunday is there. You can slowly, you can write and complete. Monday also you can take your own time. Even Tuesday sending also enough. Thank you.